Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Okay, so the movie opens up with this really, really amazing fall-esque type of opening sequence. It's just showing the credits, and it really sets you up for that Halloween feel. It shows Michael Myers in this hospital or whatever, and... He's been locked away for the past 10 years. The last time we saw him was in Halloween 2, and at the end of that movie, he basically got burnt to death, so it's almost kind of like, what the fuck, how did he survive being burnt to death? The ambulance is transporting Michael Myers, and then all of a sudden, he makes his epic escape. He pops up and literally puts his thumb through one of the doctor's skulls. It was fucking insane. Okay, so after he breaks out the ambulance, he pretty much goes to a mechanic, kills the mechanic, takes his jumpsuit, he goes to like a novelty shop or like a drugstore or something and he jacks the same Michael Myers mask. And he looks kind of weird like he the, even down to the mask the mask looks kind of off like it looks really weird he's a little bit too bulky he's stocky you know like a football player or something it just looks really weird dr sam loomis is back again in this one folks they don't really explain how he survived being blown up in the second one but, uh, fuck it, it's Halloween, right? Laurie Strode is only present in the film by a photograph and a memory, I guess. Because Jamie Lloyd is Laurie Strode's daughter, and she has a picture of her, and there's a scene where she's looking at the picture. Jamie is adopted by some foster parents, and she has a foster sister named Rachel which is like the other main character of the film. Danielle Harris played Jamie, and she did a really good job. Definitely portrayed the little girl very well. Excellent performance. All right, so basically after Michael Myers is on his killing spree, there's a bunch of like rednecks and truckers that are looking for Michael Myers, trying to track him down to kill him, you know, because they all remember what he did 10 years ago, all the people that he killed and all the trouble that he caused back in the day, you know, so they're out looking for him. It really kind of reminds me of like the angry mob of villagers from Frankenstein. Really cool. I gotta talk about the shotgun and paling scene. Uh, Michael Myers is basically pretending like he's one of the police officers that's guarding Jamie's house and he's sitting in a rocking chair and all of a sudden, he gets up, you know, you think it's one of the cops, and he gets up and turns around, and it's Michael Myers with a shotgun. It looks like he's about to shoot this chick, but instead, he literally, like, jams the shotgun through her stomach and nails her to a wall. It was fucking insane. A bunch of police officers, they finally crowd around Michael Myers, you know, they got him cornered. They all start opening fire on Michael Myers. You know, he's getting the shit shot out of him. And then all of a sudden, he falls down some sort of mine shaft. And then he's gone. And they leave him for dead. He's basically presumed dead at this point. The last and final scene takes place at Jamie's house. The cops are just, like, making sure that she's okay. And they're, everybody's about to leave. And call it a night, basically, when... Jamie puts on a clown mask and she literally kills her foster mother in an upstairs bathroom. It's insane. So it's like the same curse that was on Michael Myers has now been shifted towards her or onto her. 
you know, I don't know, it was a really cheesy ending, honestly, I didn't really care for the ending, that part too much, it was an okay film, it wasn't the best Halloween, but, I mean, how do you expect to kill Michael Myers by shooting him, especially when he's been shot like a thousand times already, and he's been burnt and all this other shit, you know, so, naturally, you know Michael's not dead, it's not the best Halloween in the franchise by far, but it's definitely worth a watch. So, Scott86, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, you guys should definitely check it out. I'll see y'all in the next episode of Monster Man.